Hi everybody, it's Lisa here, my art studio, and today we're going to continue with another project about Native American traditional art. Um, but before we start, last week I asked everybody why we refer to people who come from America as Indians. So I think some of you found out the answer. Yeah, did you? Great. Um, so we're gonna talk about this for a moment. I have a map here. Um, and this map tells us about the root of Christopher Columbus, who here we call Colon, right? Cristobal Colon. Um, and I know you all have heard about him. Um, so in the year 1492, he set out from Spain and he was trying to find a new way to get to Asia and to arrive in India. And he set out and they thought when they arrived around here that they would be in Asia. But it turned out that the world was much bigger than they knew. And he arrived all the way here, um, which is now the Caribbean, in the islands called, uh, and now they're called the Bahamas, where he first arrived. And um, they didn't know that it was an entirely new continent for them. Um, but the people who were already living there, um, they saw them and they called them Indians because they thought they were in India, right? So the name has stuck with them, um, but we will refer to them as Native Americans. Um, so today we're going to make a totem pole. Um, totem poles are made out of wood, but we're going to use paper. I'll show you an example the totem pole that I made. It's very simple and fun. Uh, okay, so first I'm gonna show you a few examples. I have this beautiful book all about totem poles. Um, here are some totem poles. And they were made by Native American people from the Northwest, which is Canada. And you can see they built these beautiful poles and they have all different types of animals. And they made these totem poles about animals that they believed were guides for them. They were spirit guides and they helped to protect them. And they made these totem poles as a way of thanking get this all their faces you can see there's normally a big eagle and the faces represent different types of animals and some of these were maybe in front of the house of a chief of a tribe person very important to them and you can see these wonderful eagles and wolves and beavers and a lot of the types of animals that they have there. So let's start with our materials. Um, you can use a regular piece of paper. This one is a little bit heavier. It's better if it's heavier because that way it can stand up. Or even if you have a light piece of cardboard, you could use an old cereal box and cut that. It's a thin cardboard and then it'll be very sturdy. I'm going to fold this paper. I'm not going to fold it all the way in half because I'm going to I want my totem pole to be long and narrow. So I'm going to fold it about this much. See? And then I'm going to draw a line here where I want to cut it. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to use this extra part here to make some wings. So I'm going to save this bit. 
and I'm going to make a little design on the top. Like this. Uh, now, this part is interesting. So you're going to fold here, somewhere near the top, and I'm going to cut a slit here. Just like that. And this slit I'm going to use to put my wings through. See that? So now with this paper, I'm going to cut a little bit off because it's a little bit too... Now I'm going to fold this in half. And here I'm going to make my wings. So you can do it, you can draw how you want your wings to go. Something like that. Or you can just cut it. You see that? So I'm going to cut this and then I'll show you how it goes we're gonna decorate all this but I want to put the fold this way so then I put these wings through here and it's a little bit three-dimensional okay so now we're going to decorate are totem poles and this is the fun part because you get to choose your spirit animal and you can make a few different faces on here depending on how big your totem pole is you can make three or four if you want you could choose a different animal for each person in your family or you could choose three or four animals just for you um, so the middle part is where the noses are going to go. And we're going to use this and put eyes on either side. So, if you want, you can use a ruler or you can just draw where you want. So I'm gonna put one animal there. Maybe I'll do four on this one. And then we're going to decorate these. So I'm gonna make the top one has the wings, so this one is going to have a bird face. So I'll make something that looks like, do you know what we call the nose of a bird? Beak. Right, so we're going gonna to put the beak there. And so actually I'm going to switch over to the one that I have started. So you can see I drew my bird here and I'm not sure what animal this is, actually. If you want, you can just invent them. Kind of looks like a totem pole. And you can see I decorated my wings. And I'm gonna color these however you want. You can use markers, pencils, whatever you have. When you do the eyes, you can do just circles the way you make eyes if you want you could just make some circles like this or you can try to make them look a little more like the totem eyes which would be something like this You can try to give them that shape. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to decorate the wings and draw all the faces of your animals. Color everything nicely. Any colors you want to use, fine. And then, when you're all finished, you have this in half, and you put your wings through here, and you have your very own totem pole. Very nice. 
Okay, everyone. Take care. See you next time.